All new at 6, some districts are modifying their cell phone policies as students head back to class. But in Cherokee County, talk of requiring cell phone caddies in classrooms has stirred up some debate. Tonight, 11 Live's Paula Soro is taking a look at the pros and cons. This is the post made anonymously in the Cherokee County Parent Facebook group suggesting some high schools are requiring students to put their phones in a cell phone caddy. The parent calling this policy disturbing. The district tells 11 Alive it is up to the individual teacher to require students to put phones in a basket during class. They're getting in trouble for the same thing over and over and over before any real consequence. And then some parents would get mad because their kid has to have their phone. I'm like, not really. This former Cherokee County teacher and now parent who wanted to remain anonymous says it could help students remain focused. A distraction is an understatement. It's just one more tool for them to be off task. But other parents argue students should have cell phones on them in case of an emergency. One also writing that this should not be a policy but a consequence. I don't know that we can plan for every eventuality, but honestly, they could grab their phone from a caddy and there's enough calls coming in to 911. So what are the cell phone policies for other school districts in the metro Atlanta area? Cobb, Clayton and DeKalb schools have a similar policy, all requiring phones to be turned off and out of sight. Clayton includes that policy on buses too. Atlanta public school students need written consent from a parent or guardian to have a phone on them, but are not allowed to use it throughout the day. And Gwinnett County Schools is a bring your own device district. Students are allowed to bring them in and use in class for instructional purposes, but that is decided by the school and or class. Fayette County Schools just implemented cell phone caddies for this school year. Kids don't need phones 24-7. They're dependent on it. It's a distraction to their learning. Paolo Suro, 11 Alive News.